most of our models tend to be data driven. Customers want to see ROI models. They want to see that they're getting a bank for their buck, that they're getting a decent return on their incentive rewards and recognition programs. Unfortunately, I'm not really convinced that this marketplace has really been able to deliver good ROI models and can actually show the customer what kind of a return the customer is getting uh, for, for these programs. We've done a great job with all of our members raising the profile of the incentive, uh, the incentive industry, if you will, the incentive marketplace. And right now, where before we started out playing offense, trying to get new legislation enacted around wellness incentives, right now we are more in the defensive mode. We are trying to protect Code Section 274J. I think there's going to be a greater emphasis on programs at lower price points. It seems to me that uh, this is probably as good as the recovery is going to get for the next year or so. So the types of programs we're going to be doing probably will be to take advantage of lower price points and make the programs a little bit broader and a little bit more inclusive.